Solving systems of three by three equations. Systems of equations with three variables are often called three by three systems. In general, to find a single solution to any systems of equations, you need as many equations as you have variables. The solution to this system will be the intersection of three different planes, each plane being one of the equations. Now, to identify the exact solution of a 3x3 three three system, there are three steps that we need to do. Step one is to reduce the 3x3 three three system to a 2x2 two two system. So what that means is we need to eliminate one of the variables completely. Step two is to solve the 2x2 two two system the same way we did before, either with substitution or with elimination. Either method will work. And step three is to substitute the, the solutions that you get from the 2x2 two two system into the original equation. You can put them into any of the three original equations as long as they have all of the variables. So let's solve the system of a 3x3 three three equations here. We have 5x minus 2y minus 3z equals negative 7, 2x minus 3y plus z equals negative 16, 3x plus 4y minus 2z equals negative 16. There are several ways that we can solve this, but in my case, or in this case anyway, I'm going to use equation 1 and equation 2 to start with. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pick two equations, any two equations, and then you're going to eliminate a variable. So I'm going to pick 1 and 2, so step 1. Pick two equations, so number 1 and number 2, and I'm going to eliminate the z. So I have 5x minus 2y minus 3z equals negative 7, and I have 2x minus 3y plus z equals negative 16. I'm going to choose to eliminate the z. You can eliminate any variable as long as you do it from um, all of the equations. So I'm going to eliminate the z because I think that's easiest. So I'm going to multiply this one times a 3, the bottom equation, and that's going to give me 5x minus 2y minus 3z equals a negative 7. That first equation doesn't change. But on the bottom, it's going to be a 6x minus a 9y plus a 3z equals 3 times negative 16, which is going to give me a negative 48. And then I'm going to add down. This should look familiar. If we add down, our z is going to cancel out, leaving me with the equation 11x minus 11y equals negative 7 minus 48 is negative 55. So that I'm going to call equation number 4. And then I'm going to leave that for now. And then my step 2, I'm going to pick the equation I didn't pick, so I'm going to pick equation number 3 and either one of the other two equations either 1 or 2, and I have to still eliminate the z. So I'm going to pick number 2 and number 3. All right, so I'm going to pick those two equations, and what I would have then would be a 2x minus 3y plus z equals negative 16. And my equation 3 is 3x plus 4y minus 2z equals positive 7. So there's my system of equations, and I need to eliminate one of the variables. And because I eliminated z in my other one, I have to eliminate z in this one. So I'm going to get rid of the z. So I'm going to multiply this top equation by 2, giving me 4x minus 6y plus 2z equals negative 32.
And my next equation isn't going to change. 3x plus 4y minus 2z equals 7. And then I add down. And when I add down, my z's are going to cancel like I wanted. And I'm left with 7x plus, sorry, minus 2y equals negative 32 plus 7, which is going to give me a negative 25. So now I'm going to call that equation number 5. So now I have a 2 by 2 with x and y and a 2 by 2 with an x and a y. So there's my new system of equations. Okay, now we are going to solve this 2 by 2 system the same way we would before. So I'm just going to eliminate one of the variables and then go with that. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just eliminate the y, just because that's just as easy as anything else. So I'm going to multiply this top by a negative 2 and the bottom by a positive 11. Just multiply by the other one and then they will cancel out. So my new system of equations will become a negative 22x plus 22y, or sorry, my, yeah, plus 22y equals a positive 110. The second row will become a 77x minus 22y equals and 11 times a negative 25 is going to give me a negative 275. And then I add down, giving me a 55x, y's cancel, equals a negative 165. Divide by 55. And x equals negative 3. Now to solve for y, I put my negative 3 into one of those two equations. So that's going to give me 7x minus 2y equals negative 25. Put in your negative 3. 7 times negative 3 minus 2y equals negative 25. Negative 21 minus 2y equals negative 25. Add the 21 over. Negative 2y equals a negative 4. Divide by negative 2. And that equals a positive 2. So y equals 2. And finally, to find my z, all I need to do is plug it into one of my original equations. So if I go back and I look at my original equation, I get 5x minus 2y minus 3z equals negative 7. That's my first equation, and I'm just going to put in my x and my y. So 5 times negative 3 minus 2 times 2 minus 3 times z, I want to solve for z, equals negative 7. So that's negative 15 minus 4 minus 3z equals negative 7. So negative 19 minus 3z equals negative 7. Add the 19 over, giving me negative 3z equals a positive 12 divide by negative 3 so z equals negative 4 so my final answer is negative 3 2 negative 4 make sure you write it as x y z in that order